in this video, I'm going to show you how to play a video in your Android app. Uh, this video is going to be stored in the app. We're not going to be retrieving it from online sources at this time. However, we can in the future. I'm going to now show you what it looks like. Basically, here's your app, and all you have to do is click play. And bam, a video of your choice is now playing in the app. So now, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Let's go to our activity main file, which is under layout, under resources, in your app folder. And you'll see this file. Basically, you're going to need to add two widgets, one being the video view and one being a button. So you can just drag and drop from here or type them in manually as I prefer. I am using a linear layout to keep it more clean. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to set an ID to this video view and I'm going to call it video, I'm sorry, I'm going to call it tutorial video, video view. I know that's kind of redundant and almost wasteful, but that's just how I'm going to do it. So it's pretty apparent of what the purpose of that video view is does. Also I'm going to do a button and we're going to set the ID to play button and then the text will call play. Uh, it might not render very well as you can see here but it will in the app later. So go over to your main activity which is under app java and then your package name. We're going to need to declare two different things. Our first is a video view. We're going to call that tutorial video view because I'm making a tutorial and the video in the background that's playing is a tutorial. We're also going to use a URI. Now in our onCreate method, before the bracket here, we're going to add a few things. First of being is our video view. We need to define what video view we're talking about and where it's located. That's tutorial video video view and that is here like we just created and then we're going to do a URI so we're going to have to parse our app to this video. But uh, as it occurs to me right now there is no video in your app yet so we're going to go get one. So what you're going to do here is go to res, right click on it, go to new and go to Android resource directory. You're going to want to call this raw and raw data and resource type set to raw under main and then click OK. So now we have a folder here named raw, but there's nothing in our folder. So let's right click on that and go down to show in files. It could be find and finder if you're on a Mac or show and explorer, I believe it is on Windows. Click on that and you'll now see a little window. It should be empty of your raw folder. So what you want to do is find a video file. Uh, mostly all will do. Most common will do. And so I have this tutorial video that I made a week or two ago. And I'm just going to copy it here, right like that. So now you'll see that I have this in my raw folder. We're no longer going to need our raw folder, so we can close that. And let's go back to our video. So you see here, I'm doing URI parse android.resource colon slash slash and then ending with my quotations and there's quotations here too we're going to add get package name so we're talking this package name plus another slash r.raw.wifi toggle button and you're probably wondering what is wifi toggle button well that's the video the title of the video we just imported. This can be called a lot of different things. However, it would be a good idea to avoid using numbers in here, uh, at least in the beginning, because it could mess up your emu uh, your uh, app. Also, using spaces, I don't believe works, and underscores. Uh, I'd just stick to just regular text because you can throw a whole bunch of errors and mess everything up. And our next line will be tutorials, video, video view which is our video view. And we're going to set that URI to this line, basically. Next, we're going to do a button. We're definitely going to need the button. And our button is this thing right here, which we can't really see because our layout is not rendering properly. And we're going to find the button. Our button is the play button that we have defined right there. And we're going to set an onclick listener of that button to a new view to onclick listener. And our only thing in that method will be tutorial video view dot start. And that tutorial video view is this that has the URI of this, which is this. So basically, once we click that button, it's going to start a chain reaction and it'll play this video in our app, just like this. Hopefully that helped you guys out figuring out how to play a video in your Android app. If it didn't, or if it's still not working or whatever, feel free to contact me in the comments below, or email me at my email, which will be in the description. The code for this video will be in the description below on GitHub, in case you would like to copy and paste. If you're wondering where to get a video file, you can just Google, I guess, .mp4 videos and download whichever one you want, and then slide it right in here to your raw folder. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.